G'day all, welcome back again to Dad vs. Son, and we're about to start Battle Him from Victory Games. And I suppose I should say that the whole reason that I'm playing this is because um, Aaron from Aaron Plays, Aaron Sibley, has been playing Ambush and has whet my appetite to get back into this uh, these games. I, I played Ambush. Uh, I've got Ambush and I've got Move Out to go with that. Um, and I've played a little bit of it and I put it away years ago and uh, I'd never made any videos of it or anything else. So I just thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, stuff it. Let's do this and uh, we can go along with it. Right, now we're about to start. The die I'm going to be using are these two here uh, for the Marines, for the Japanese, and um, this will be our tens, of course, for uh, uh, percentile dice and our units. And if we get random events, then, of course, zero, nine, whatever the case may be. So let's get into it. We start in operations down here, ready to go. Now, let's bring somebody on who's got a good PC. Uh, so I suppose it's going to be Collins or ooh, Green. He's only Initiative 2, but he's got a PC of 5. So Green it is. And Green... Starts in A18. Dun, dun, dun. So as you can see, I've got the uh, the thing ready to go. Battle him. Mission 1. Boomerang. Condition 1. And we start in A18. And we have a penguin. None. I'm allowed to say that. I am a Catholic. Okay. So nothing there. Um, he, well, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Do I just go straight up? That's the easiest way. And I think so. So we're just going to go to A17 right there and see what we've got. And we're starting to build a convent. We have none again. Righto, let's bring on some other people to uh, back him up so that's uh green there i think we'll bring um collins in to there green can now be crouching collins will move up with him like that and we'll bring on um edmonds and adams who, again, will come in standing and move up with these guys here. And I think... Okay. Da, 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 da. Now, do we want to bring the others on standing at the moment? I think we do. So we'll just grab all four of them. They're all standing in the water, slowly coming forward onto the beach. And we move green forward into A16. And another sister to join, none. And we'll bring everybody forward because we want to keep them as much together to give support and uh, a bit of firepower as we do it. We'll just bring all these guys up onto the beach like that. And green will move into the trees. Now, do I want to put him into A15 or B15? Let's just stay with A15. 
There we go. A15 it is. And we still have none. Right, oh, can we straighten this up now so you can see enough? There we go. That makes it a bit better. And that way you can see this bit over here, this bit down here, and all that bits up there. Okie dokie. So everybody move forward? I think so. No. We'll just move Collins forward, I think. Collins can move forward there with green. Now, again, do we go to A14 or B14? I think we just keep moving up, and if we need to, then we can always uh, try enfilade right. Yeah, okay. Righto, and we go to A14. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun, dun. And we have sighting three, zero, zero, one. Ooh. Okay. Now, I'm not going to show you the book the whole time or anything else, but let's go for it. Okay. Zero, zero, 001, conduct PC check. Success, go to 14. Failure, you go to 36. Okay. PC check for green is a five, so five or less. And he passes, so we go to 14. Uh, okay, and 14 is actually sighting three. So we have our first sighting. Righto. A sniper in a palm tree. Okay, so we've got a sniper in a palm tree. Activate Japanese 10 in this hex. Oh, we've walked right under the tree like that. Uh, Japanese 10. Is this one here now what I've done up here is I've just got these set up so I can put the cards in there so I can uh, just see who's active and not so Japanese 10 is a sniper L okay uh, so he is crouching in the top of the tree he is an initiative two, L2. Uh, here we go, L2, put him in there. PC4, weapon skill zero. Okie dokie, there we go. Okay, uh, commence rounds. US advantage, the US soldier who passed the PC check is automatically aware. So green is aware, like that. And our only other person that is in line of sight at the moment is Collins, because these guys are blocked by these palm trees. So Collins' PC check is for a five and passes. So Collins is also aware, like that. Righto, we know it's our advantage, um, so we'll roll and we get a two for us and a six for him. So a six for him gives him one activation. A two for us gives two activations for Collins and a two is one activation for Green with a... Um, Panic check. So green is a initiative two. He's within two of Adams. So he's initiative four. That gives six. And we are good to go. Okay. So we need a number for the... We're in. I'm just using this to keep uh, track of the... Uh, number of rounds okay the action number for the Japanese man is a five right oh so we're into there we are adjacent to him by being under the tree so we would automatically use a special condition s which is 816 no matter what okay 
ignore the self-preservation reaction. Roll for a new Japanese number, okay? A nine. Uh, and refer to the soldier's action column. So, okay, we are in condition one with a nine is seven, three, eight. And 738 is conduct best fire, which would be aimed fire, at as many targets as possible. First at target in same hex, then at easiest target. Okay. Well, we can't have anybody in same hex as such because this is con uh, considered to be adjacent because he's up. So... He has a rifle and a grenade. Righto. So best fire is going to be aim fire uh, with a rifle, bolt rifle. It is at range one, adja oh, sorry, adjacent, I should say, which, yeah. And adjacent is a six which is good. He is weapon skill zero, so we have a six. And we are in palm tree, crouched, is a minus two, so a four to hit. Oh, why am I doing him first? It's us. Us. Dickhead. Blah. Forget about it. We know what he's going to do if he gets a chance. Okay. Um, we've got... Collins first. Okay, so Collins is here. Collins is going to shoot. So Collins is a plus one weapon skill. He is at two hexes, which is short range, with a semi-auto rifle. So short range is a five. Plus one for his weapon skill is a six. And our guy is in a palm tree. Crouching, minus two, so a four to hit. Here we go for Collins. Four to hit, and he hits, but I didn't roll for a jam. 5% chance of jam, <laughs> and we get zero. His rifle jams on the first shot. My God. Okay, well, let's grab an M1. Where are you? I got pistols, I got carbines. Ah, there's an M1. An M1 jam on Collins. Well, that was screwed. Okay, so now we have green and Collins. So Collins is going to go for an unjam. So to clear a jammed weapon, he is a plus one weapon skill. We roll an eight. And an eight with a plus one weapon skill is J, which means it remains jammed. Well, that's sucky. So he is done. Now we have green. Our green is adjacent. So green is adjacent, which is a six. Firing at this guy, which is a minus two. Uh, which is a four. So does his rifle jam? No, it does not. So a four to hit. Uh, sorry, we're a six, we're a seven. He's a plus one weapon skill. So it's a five to hit. And we get a hit. Okay. Do we use ammo? 10% chance? No. Righto. What damage do we do? We get a six. Semi auto rifle with a six, and this guy is incapacitated. Yay! Okay, so this guy is now incapacitated. Now, being incapacitated, there is a 50% chance that he will drop his rifle and grenade. So we're going to, I'm just going to roll once for both weapons. Oh, no, I'll roll for the rifle first. And his rifle does not drop. 
We'll see if his grenade drops. And his grenade does drop. So there is a grenade on the ground there. Do I have a grenade marker? Do I, do I, do I? Well, it doesn't really matter. I don't have anybody to pick it up, do I? Oh, no, I could. Baker can pick it up. Righto, so let's just get rid of that stuff. Okay, this guy is incapacitated. There's a grenade there. When Baker comes up through there, he's going to pick it up. And you can use an enemy grenade at no detriment, where if you use an enemy weapon, um, it's a minus one to your weapon skill. Okay, this L here comes down into the inactive. And we are all done here. And we will be going back to operations. Now, we get one victory point for this guy showing up. And we get this guy has been incapacitated by green. So I'm just going to put two CPs down for him, two campaign points, combat points, um, on his sheet, just over like this. So we've got our one victory point. We've got uh, sighting threes completed, and I've put two there for green. He's, he's the one who uh, got the shot and incapacitated this bloke, so I'm putting him on there for him. Um, and we can work it all out later as to who gets what, where, when and why. But that's that. Okay, back to operations. Okie dokie. So the first thing is that we are going to try and unjam this weapon again. And we get, oh, I don't know why I'm rolling two. He's a plus one with a three and it's cleared. Done. Righto. Um, so we've got this guy here like that. We'll move Collins up there with him and we'll move Adams and Edmonds up there as well. Like that. And these other guys will move through. And these guys are under this palm tree with this incapacitated bloke. And that card is now defunct. Righto. Uh, Green, doing well, is now going to move up into A13. So let's have a look. A13. Ooh. Sighting 9416. 416. It is sighting 9. Right. Oh. Conduct activation check at a plus 2. So that will be an activation of 0 through 3. It's a pass. Success, C436, and we are into Sighting 9. Activate Japanese 20 in Hex A12 Crouching. Okay, let's find 20. And this is Soldier T. And he has a rifle, a grenade, and a knife. So we get one victory point. We now have a hold two. Uh, initiative three, so T3. So he is in A12, crouching in the rocks. T3 comes up onto there, like that. Uh, Japanese advantage, Japanese 20 receives two turns this round. So we'll just put him straight up there like that. Um, We'll still need to roll a number, but that's that. Right. Oh, so we need to do an awareness roll. And the only person that can has a chance of seeing this guy is green. Again, these palm trees here will block line of sight going forward. So green is a five and does see, is aware. So then we roll up for numbers. 
we get a nine. I don't see why we need to. Yep. We get one. Um, and this number will be their um, action number. I didn't need to roll for their other number. So that is that. Right. Oh, so we have somebody adjacent again. So we use special condition S and it's 818. Let's see what 818 says. Crouch, then throw a grenade at closest target. Fall prone after throw if free stance change is available. If no target is visible or closest target is in the same hex, crouch, and that's it. Okay, so he's already crouching. He's going to throw a grenade to here. Righto. So what we need is the grenade scatter table. So this is um, diagram A and diagram B. And there's a separate diagram if they're in trees. So here's the scatter for treetop grenade. So we are throwing against a flat hex this way. So this is the target hex here. We're throwing this way. We need to roll a die. And we roll the die. And it's a one. So it ends up over here. Now, let's see if we're doing this right. OK, so first things first. Uh, choose the target. Done. Can throw a grenade up to six hexes or blah, 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 blah. Yep. Or up to three hexes if crouching. So, yep, he's thrown at three hexes. Uh, determine the range. Well, that's one. Uh, if thrown into an adjacent hex, use the adjacent hex chance. Uh, yeah, let's do this properly. Okay. He is a weapon skill of zero. Grenade. Grenade outside. Now, the modifications for explosive weapons are a minus three if throwing through a non-adjacent aperture. There's no aperture. Minus three if throwing into a target hex that is not in sight. Nope. Minus two of thro his throwing soldier is wounded. No, and then it's just the weapon skill, and his weapon skill is zero. So we have a grenade outside, adjacent. So that is a six. Uh, um, like that range. Hit chance is a six. Righto. Six or less. And we get a one. So it lands in the hex. We don't have to scatter. Uh... If the result is there, as in fire combat, do that, blah, 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 blah. Roll one die. If the result is equal to or less than the final hit chance, the grenade or satchel charge lands. Proceed to step five. Determine target damage. Well, I think we need to see if it's a dud first. And there's a 5% chance of it being a dud, and it is not a dud. So the grenade lands in there with green. Green has a chance to throw it away though uh, grenade strike pc check when a grenade or satchel charge strikes a target uh sorry strikes a hex every aware soldier in the hex can make a special pc check if the soldier successfully makes the check as any turns remaining in the round and is standing or crouching he can immediately spend one turn to perform the action of tossing the grenade or satchel charge out of explosion range Righto. Well, he is crouching. Uh, he does have an action. 
So this has been done. He uses his action and he does a PC check of five or less and he fails miserably. So the grenade goes off in his hex. We roll a die to see what the damage is. And it's a seven and a seven for a grenade outside is a wound. Okie dokie. So we have been wounded. And being wounded, we now fall prone automatically. And little Mr. Grenade Man doesn't have any more grenades anymore. So, Soldier T, uh, I don't know, Takahashi or something, Togo, is done for his first action. He's wounded our little man like that. Okay, so now it's his second action. So we need to roll up for another number. Let's get rid of the rule book out of the way. Action number is a zero. And a zero is a 801, which I think he's just going to shoot. Okay, now he felt prone that time as well, sorry because he had his free stance check. So 801 is now crouch. Da -dum. Done. Then conduct best fire at easiest target. Fall prone after fire if free stance change. Okay. Best fire at easiest. So best fire would be aimed fire at easiest target. He only has one target. Again, he doesn't have line of sight to these guys at all. So he's going to be firing here. So he has a bolt rifle at adjacent, which is a six, with a weapon skill of zero. And we are prone in palm trees, which is a minus three. So it is a three to hit. So does his weapon jam first? 5% chance. No, it does not. 0 through 3, and he misses. So he is done, and that is the end of the first round. And we'll go into the second round. So I'll just move that over to here. Let's come over here so you can see it. So we're in second round now. So everybody can now try an awareness check. So we'll just start right at the back. So we'll just go from uh, alphabetical order. So Adams is a PC of seven and he is aware. Right. Uh, Baker is a six whoop, and rolls a zero and is aware. Collins is a five and is aware. Douglas is a six and is aware. Uh, Edmonds is a three and is not aware. Fredericks is a five and is aware. And Holt is a one and is not aware. So Edmonds and Holt are not aware. Everybody else is. Righto. <coughs> Excuse me. We roll for a random event. And we get a one and three is a four. We go to the RE, come across to four, and again, none. No random event. Good. We roll for advantage. And the Japanese have the advantage with a nine, which gives him two activations, and we have a five. So Adams 
on a five is two activations with panic check. Um, his initiative is four. He's got lots of people with him, so he is fine. Oh, sorry, his PC is seven, so he's fine. Uh, now, Baker, Collins, and Douglas for a five have one turn and then Fredericks and Green on a five have two. Righto. So action number is a two and we can get into it. So it's going to be our little man first and a two is again 801. So he is going to crouch, which he already is. Best fire at easiest target. Fall prone after fire if free stands available. So he is going to fall prone. There he goes. And of course, he's going to be firing into here again because this is the only target that he has. So again, uh, it's adjacent, which is a six. We are prone, which is a minus three in the palm trees. So he needs a three to hit. Does he rifle jam? And it does not. Zero through three to hit. And he misses and falls prone. And that is his first activation done. Right, now we have Adams, Green and Fredericks. Okay. Adams is back here. Green, Fredericks. Uh, sorry, Green only gets one go because he's only gets one because he is wounded. So forget about him. It's Adams and Fredericks. Right. Um, Mm. I think I might move somebody up this way. So we're going to move Fredericks. Fredericks is going to stand. He has four movement points. And movement costs through palm trees is a standing soldier is a one. Okay. So he goes one up to here. Yeah, he goes one over two, three to here into B13. Sorry, he's standing. B13. B13 is sighting nine, which we've already had, which is this little fella, so that's fine. And then he will... Crouch. And that's his fourth move. So he goes one, two, three, four, like that. He is done. Then we have Adams. Now Adams is here. Now Adams, I think, could probably do a. He would take him. He'd be standing though, wouldn't he? Yeah, I don't like that. So if Adam stood up here, he could go one, two. He could go three, four. No, he couldn't. Um, let me just have a look at looky, looky. Embankment is a plus one. Uh, elevation change doesn't matter. Oh, that's right. It doesn't matter, does it? So he had one more, but he couldn't really go any further. So that's fine. So Adams could go one. And they could come up into here. That would be 
two, three, and then crouch to start coming around this way. Uh, what is boulders? Standing boulders, one. So it's not a plus one or anything else. Okay. <clears throat> or he could simply go one, crouch, and snap fire. Hmm, let me think about this. Rightio, I think what we'll do with this is we are going to grab Adams. Let me just get this out of the way. Okay. So Adams stands up as his free uh, stance moves forward to here, which is one, crouches for two, which is half his movement points allowance of four, and then will snap fire at this guy. It's not real great. It is not real great, but let's see what we can do. Okay, so we are adjacent which is a six. We are a plus two weapon skill is eight. We have a submachine gun. Righto. So we are adjacent is a six plus two is an eight. We are snap firing, which is a minus two takes us down to six. And our soldier target is prone in boulders, is the minus three. So we have a zero three to hit. And we miss again spectacularly. Sorry, did it jam first. Uh, zero, oh, sorry, 30. No, it did not jam. Uh, did we use up ammo? Now, this is a 50% chance. And we did use an ammo. So he has one less ammo. Okay, sorry about that. Righto, so then we have Mr. Takahashi again, and this is his second action, or second, turn two. So we roll, and he gets a zero, and on a zero, he is 801, which is the same thing again, which is two, Crouch, conduct best fire at easiest target. Okay, so he's going to be firing at Adams this time. So he crouches. Best fire is going to be aim fire. So we are adjacent, which is a six. Weapon skill is zero. We're still a six. We are crouching in palm trees is a minus two, so a four to hit. Does his weapon jam? And it does not jam. 0 4 to hit and he misses again and we rejoice so he is done now we have adams baker collins douglas green and fredericks okay um now, he's got a knife as well. So if we assault into there, it's not, it's going to be messy. So I think what we might do is actually try and maybe throw a grenade in there because he can't throw it back. Um, so we'll get green to do that first. So green is going to go first. And green is going to throw his grenade. So is the grenade a dud? 5% chance. <laughs> and his grenade was a dud, so forget about that. And he has no grenades left. Okay, next. Um, Fredericks is going to... Do what? What was moving the boulders again was just one, wasn't it? 
10. Uh, no, that means nothing. So yeah, it's one movement point for a standing soldier. But he's going across an embankment, which would be two, which means he would not be able to snap fire and take a stance change. So that's no good. Um, okay, let's do Adams first. Adams is right here. He's crouching, ready to go. He is going to... Whoops. Mm. It couldn't be prone, sorry. Um, Adams is going to shoot. So again, we are a submachine gun adjacent. So that's a six plus two for weapon skill is an eight. For a man that is crouching in boulders, goes back down to a six. Okay. Does it jam? And a zero nine, it does not. We need a six or less. We get an eight. Did we use up our ammunition? Spraying it all over the countryside. And we did. Jesus Christ almighty. Okay. That's Adam's done. That's Green done. Mmm. <sighs> Um, Adams is going to fall prone now. No, oh, get on there. Like that. Um, okay, it's going to be Collins next. Collins is going to stand. Collins is going to move forward for one and crouch for two and then is going to snap fire. So we are a six, a, a sorry, a six, a seven for his weapon skill, minus two for snap fire and minus two for crouching in boulders. So a seven minus four is a three. Do we jam? We do not jam. Zero through three to hit. <laughs> 60, we miss. Did we spray our ammo all over the place? And we did not. Okay, well, that's him done. Um, damn it. So we've got... Baker, Douglas, and Fredericks. We've got Fredericks here. Um, Fredericks is going to simply move forward into here, which is B12. And that is none. And then is going to fall prone that is Frederick's done so Baker and Douglas which are both back here could go one could go two Yep, yeah, okay. Douglas is going to stand up and he's going to go one into there, two into here. And he's going to crouch. He's going to crouch there. Okay, that's him done. 
and then Baker is going to do the same thing and move up there with him and crouch as well. And that is that. Okay, I'm just going to put him on top. I know that's wrong, but I don't care. Um, in fact, I'll just get rid of that. It doesn't matter anymore. This bloke is incapacitated here. And uh, Edwards is in there with him. And that's the end of that action round. And I think that's well long enough. And we will come back and go into the next action round. Um, this will be the third action round. So everybody will be aware. And we can go through from there. So we will have a random event first. Okay, so take care and I will see you next time. Bye for now.